Welcome sa lahat sa inyo sa ating God's Word for Today devotional, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan. And if this is your first time to tune in and watch our video, thank you very much. May God bless you. And salamat po sa inyong paglalo this morning. And patuloy tayo sa ating pangangaral sa Nehemiah, chapter 5, verse 9 to 13, today. And as usual, basahin ko ito sa ating Tagalog na Biblia, Nehemiah 5, 9 to 13. Kaya sinabi ko, ang baga na inyong ginagawa ay hindi mabuti. Hindi ba marapat na kayo'y lumakad na may takot sa ating Diyos upang maiwasan ang pag-alipusta ng ating mga kaaway na bansa? Gayun din, ako at ang aking mga kapatid at ang aking mga lingkod ay nagpahiram sa kanila ng salapi at butil. Tigilan na natin ang ganitong pagpatuko. Isauli ninyo sa kanila sa araw ding ito ang kanilang mga bukid, mga ubasan, mga taniman ng ulibo, mga bahay, gayon din ang ik- ika-isandaang bahagi ng salapi, trigo, alak at langis na inyong ipinapataw sa kanila. Pagkatapos ay sinabi nila, isa sa uli namin ang mga ito at wala kaming hihingin sa kanila. Gagawin namin ang yun ayon sa iyong sinasabi. Kanawag ko ang mga pare at pinangpa ko sila na gawin ang ayon sa ipinangako nila. Ipinagpagaw ko rin ang laylayan ng aking damit at sinabi, Ganito na wapagpagin ng Diyos ang bawat tao mula sa kanyang bahay at mula sa kanyang gawain na hindi tumupad ng pangako nito. Ganito na wa siya maipagpag at mahubaran. At ang buong kapulungan ay nagsabi, Amen. At pinuri ng Panginoon, at ginawa ng taong bayan ang ayon sa kanilang ipinangako. When Nehemiah rebuked the nobles and the rulers, isa sa mga statement dito that cuts our attention is, he asked this question, Should you not walk in the fear of our God? Hindi ba marapat na kayo'y lumakad na may takot sa ating Diyos? Yes, it was proven beyond reasonable doubt it was seen na uh, they really practice usury and this practice of usury was obviously un- unbecoming Nehemiah highlighted to them na kung hindi sila matakot sa Panginoon because of what they're doing sabi pa ni dito hindi maiwasan ang pag-alipusta ng, uh, ng mga kaaway sa bansa. You know the cause why the enemy will be advancing to them is because of the sin that they are doing. And bukod dyan, he told them that when the Jews were sold as slaves to foreigners before, when Jodah was conquered, ganito ang ginawa nila ni Himaya and the fellow Jews. They redeemed them out of slavery and they free them. Kaya nga, it was ironical and morally wrong na ang mga Hudiyo po ay binibenta sila back into slavery. And then ang ngayon ang nagbibenta sa kanila ay fellow Jews in order to pay off the high interest loans. It's really very unbecoming, morally wrong. And uh, a reflection for today, nakakalungkot, na may mga businessmen, sometimes mga Christian businessmen, who claim that they love the Lord, they believe the Lord, they go to churches, na wala silang pakikialam, especially they don't seek God's will and wisdom in doing their business. It is as if that iba sila sa loob ng sibahan at iba sila kung maging negosyo, nagninegosyo sila. We tend to separate the two things as two different things. They could be holy during Sundays, but sa pag-anak nila ng mga negosyo, they don't think about God. They think about practical ways how to earn a lot of money. They don't care whether people are suffering. Their only concern is profit. 
that is if a deal can be made if they can make money from it it's okay now as christians we are governed by the lordship of christ in everything he must be the lord of all he is not lord at all he must be the lord inside the church and even outside the church when we conduct our businesses even when we do transactions with people so christians should focus na ang ating ginagawa could be pleasing to the lord or not glorifying to the lord or not what is wrong and what is right for us is according to the word of god apparently sa ginagawa ito ng mga nobles and mga rulers ang ating makikita that is implied here is they lost their awe and wonder of god they lost the reverence of God. Ang tanong ni Nehemiah, ought you not to, wait to walk in the fear of our God? Hindi ba marapat na kayo, na tayo, kayo ay matakot sa Panginoon? This question should have brought them back to their knees and to their senses. Sometimes we need this question. We need to ask this personally in our lives. We need to ask this in our communities. Hindi ba karapat dapat na matakot tayo sa Lord? Their silence, ang tahimik ang mga rulers and, and mga nobles, ito po ay pagpapahayam nila that they were really convicted and they were really having a contrite heart. Nehemiah demanded from them to return everything, including the interest na they charged, the complaint. It was a drastic, radical na demand, but because they were repentant, ito ang sinabi nila. We will restore this and require nothing from them. We will do as you say. Talagang pinakita nila that they were willing and they will sacrifice to do what is right, to right what was wrong. Their true repentance was shown not by just feeling bad about it, but by the act of returning the properties and repaying the interest without delay. Di bukas, hindi next week, kundi ngayon na. Ang isang halimbawa dito sa New Testament ay si Zacchaeus, the notorious tax collector. Alam natin that he was truly repentant. Bakit ba? Because he returned the money to the people that he cheated. Ilang pilo? Apat na pilo. Fourfold. Because that was the requirement in the Old Testament. Na charging exorbitant usury. Kailangan isa uli yung pera. Fourfold. That was really a drastic na ginagawa ni Zacchaeus na nagpapakita sa atin that he was really truly repentant. Truly repentant people are dead serious in their commitment. Alam natin kung totoong nagsisisi sa tao kasi maski covenant, hindi niya atrasan yan. Magpipeperma siya kung anong permahan yan because he's willing to be made accountable. They were willing to sign a covenant. So tinawag ni Nima yung mga pari and there was this condition pinapagpag ni ni mayam kanya damit sabi niya ganito din ang mangyayari to all of you kung hindi niyo tutuparin ang covenant nehemiah assured accountability from the erring but repentant nobles and leaders as something they needed to do kailangan natin ito we need a community where we are accountable to kaya nga i encourage this one of you be in a community in a discipleship group where you are accountable People can ask you question. You can ask question and you can help one another. Bakit ba? Because in a lot of times, alam natin na kung nag-iisa tayo, our spirit is willing to do it. Our, willing, uh, our spirit is willing to do what is right, but our flesh is weak. That's why we need somebody. Kaya ang tanong ko sa atin today is, is accountability the missing step? in dealing with an area 
that you and I are struggling to make it right. Thank God. Thank God for Nehemiah, who was willing to rebuke them. Thank God for the nobles and rulers who were, who were willing to change. They repented and amended their ways. Thank God for the restitution of what is right. Yes, hindi naman natin mapigilan na magkamali ang isang tao minsan. We, we expect that because people are still imperfect, that they will do it. imperfections, makakasala. But the most important thing is how we handle. Are we helping people to repent, to make right, and be restored? And that's the beauty of our ministry in the churches. We are not looking at perfect people. We are looking at people who are sincere to make things right in their lives. May God bless us. Panginoon, salamat po for your word today. Bless this our hearts, Lord. Help us that we continue to look unto you with awe and wonder, with fear, na hindi mawala yung aming reverence sa inyo, Panginoon. Our hearts are deceitful above all things, yes. You want us to keep our hearts with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Lord, let it be that you will help us how to watch our hearts that we will not lose the awe and wonder of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.